Hi guys, it's Miss C, and today we are going to read chapters 5 and 6, which are the next two chapters in our book, Toy Academy, Some Assembly Required. So last time we read chapters 3 and 4, and we learned a little bit more about Grunball and some of his friends, and at the end of chapter 4, they got dropped off at this toy store. It was called Out of This out of this world toy. So let's start reading chapter five in the zone. The bus drove right up to the toy store's automatic doors, just as an employee ran in late for work. The automatic doors slid open, omnibus zipped through, speeding past the cash registers before anyone noticed him. Omnibus turned a corner, taking a shortcut through an aisle filled with hundreds of boxes containing dolls, plaid, and polka dots. Her name was Margie, and there was one for every occasion. She's incredible, Grumbolt explained. Micro nodded. She's the most popular doll in the world, created in 1954 in Caramel, Indiana. There are 4,000 different kinds of Margies and at least 45,602 clothing and or uniform options. You have so many facts in your head, Grumbolt gasped. Impressed, impressed. I just have gobs of cotton. Omnibus zoomed straight to the discount section. There was the du This was the dumping ground for all the unpopular toys. They sat depressed in their dusty boxes, their hopes and dreams of being someone's prized possession long since forgotten. There was something called Veggie Warriors that was supposed to be the next big toy, that app, but that absolutely no one had bought. Something called My First Snail Farm that was no one's first anything. Grumbold was sad to see all these toys without any kids to play with. He made a promise to himself, no matter how hard Toy Academy was, he was going to pass. He was going to get great at playing, and he was going to get himself a kid. He was not going to end up like Veggie Warrior. On the next floor of the discount section was a giant playset called Warp Zone. Omnibus picked up speed, hurtled right towards it. Uh, Omnibus, you're going to drive right into that toy, Grumbolt sta stammered. Micro started blowing in her bag, trying to create an airbag to soften the impact. Omnibus barked into the speaker box. Incoming! An action figure sit sitting on top of Warp Zone pulled the lever, revealing a plastic tunnel. In the center of the tunnel was a cardboard dial that was spinning. It spun faster and faster, and Omnibus sailed right through it. The entire bus was basked in light and disappeared. Grumbolt was no longer in the toy store. He was no longer in the world he knew at all. That's them spinning and spinning and spinning. Chapter 6, Bright Lights, Small City. Omnibus rocketed out of the tunnel and into the toy world. There was Playville, Plastic Grove Farmland, Micmac Valley, Babel Bay, Evil Toy Academy, and then in the back corner, Toy Academy. Eventually, the roads split into two. What's that? Grumbled asked. A shiver running up where his spine should be. He pointed to a massive lair shaped like a skull, perched up on top of desert mountain, uh, of a deserted mountain. The sky over the lair was pitch black, illuminated ev ev everly now and then by quick flashes of lightning. Illuminated every now and then by quick flashes of lightning. That is the Evil Toy Academy, Micro said. Monsters, henchmen, every villain from every toy land goes there. It was founded by Commander Hedgehog's arch enemy, Chancellor Thornbones. Luckily, Omnibus turned away from that last campus atop, that last stop 
Lastly, Omnibus turned away at the last second. Ahead, Grumbolt could see a sprawling campus atop a sunny mountain, surrounded by super high block gates. I can't believe we're here, Micro gasped. Believe it, Omnibus exclaimed. Micro, uh, other thing. Welcome to Toy Academy. And that is the end of chapter seven. I mean, chapter six. And the next time we read, we will read chapter seven. And I will give you a sneak peek of what Toy Academy looks like. And chapter seven is called Freshman Disorientation. So I wonder what that is going to be about. So next time we read, we will find out. So hope you guys enjoyed the book and I will see you next time.